morning everybody. Today I'm going to show you the quickest way to plant these asparagus roots or asparagus crowns. Um, and I'm essentially I'm just going to clear a path right where my thumb is. Make a big, uh, expose a big circle, dig a hole, um, and I'm kind of basically going to stack all of the asparagus crowns, not directly on top of each other, but so that they're parallel to the ground so they all stick up you know, straight. Um, I'm not too worried about, you know, the asparagus roots themselves like choking each other out or taking each other's vitamin, uh, minerals or anything like that. That's just not how plants work. Um, they're asparagus, so they can be planted very closely together because they're going to compete just like every other plant force for the sun itself. Um, and when they fern out, they don't, they're not casting any shade on anything else unless you had maybe a trillion of them planted in the same spot maybe it'd be thick enough but this is just the quickest and easiest way especially in a sheep mulched area just to clear space and I'm gonna put 20 crowns of asparagus down the ground and I'll show you just a couple of steps along the way and that'll be it for today here's a space that I moved of wood chips and you'll see how close it is to some of these other bushes and always kind of open up a bigger area than you expect. This is a general rule when I'm planting anyways. Here's a hole that I've dug so far. You can kind of see how deep it is. I put the big clumps of sod over there on the grass. And I cleared off as much of the wood chips as possible. And I just piled up the extra soil right there. Alright, you can see here that I used bunch method. Grabbed five crowns in my hand and then I used the, the little scoop there, put the scoop in, picked up a thing of dirt and slid that bunch of roots down behind it and then let the shovel down and surrounded it. Um, if it looks like they're just like way too close, whatever, when they grow uh, they will spread out and they'll make their own room. Uh, this is just for ease of planting but um, nature, nature packs things in. I actually wish I had another couple, three bunches of asparagus that I could plant in here because it could definitely fit. So I'm going to fill this all up. They are a little bit higher than normally I would like. Um, so I might actually push this bunch down. I might actually push all these bunches down, but I'm just going to tear up all this, cover it with more Cover it with soil, it'll be about, uh, you want about six, well, six inches as tops, but just around three inches average um, of soil over the asparagus, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching this quick little video. Um, I've tried other methods. I've done the, uh, what, the two, two foot apart mountain, mountain mounding approach. Um, it, it's kind of funny because once they come up and you've placed them, you know, your foot apart, whatever it is, uh, you have one little asparagus, and then way down there you have another asparagus. <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of comical. It's a huge waste of space, so just plant as much, as many as you can in whatever area you have and let the plants and nature um, figure it all out for you. All right, thanks again for watching. Bye.